Uh, so for my microphone, I need an amplifier. I guess pre-amplifier is more, uh, more like it. Let me show you the board that I have here. Um, it has multi-sections. Um, I built this quite a while ago. Um, let's see, I'm looking at the date on it. I believe I built this four years ago. And it has a, a shift register in it that I've shown before. It has some LED, 8-bit uh, LED boards that I've shown before. Um, but it has some op-amp circuits. So this is the layout of the board. And this is the section here that I'm interested in. hope you can see the mouse on the screen capture device. Um, in the upper left here is the shift registers using uh, 595s. And then there's a section here for Arduino type stuff. Uh, the op amp section here, there's one, two, three, four packages. I think they're dual op amps, so eight pack, eight op amps. Uh, let's see over here in the corner, there's a little uh, Arduino 80, uh, AT85 chip. Some stuff at the bottom here, there's a down the lower left, there's an LM324. Hmm, that's interesting. So that's got some inputs and outputs, and it has some uh, potentiometers here to adjust things. But I don't remember what these circuits are, so let's look at the schematic. Let's look at the op amp section here. Uh, I want to zoom in on that. So there's some. Um, instrumentation amplifiers and I guess they're all wired the same so you can use this in different ways if you let's look at the first one here IC8A um, if you loaded a 0 ohm R11 and you put in a 0 ohm R1 and you left everything off, then you would have a, a follower. You could load R1 and R3. Do not load R11 and connect R12 zero ohms to ground. Then you would have an inverting amplifier. So they're very generic. So these are cool and they're all a surface mount. Um, TLC 274. I believe I have 071s. I believe I bought some of those 071s. I believe they're FET input and they're rail to rail, which is nice. So I'll have to, I'll have to double check on that. But uh, we do have that. So let's go back and look at that other circuit, the 324 circuit. Um, yeah, it's over here. Let's zoom in over there. So we have a inverting amplifier, but with um, adjustable gain. And the other op amp is non-inverting with adjustable gain. And then the other two are unity gain amplifiers. So that's pretty cool. So we have all those available to us. Um, now I don't remember if the pin out of the LM324 is the same as the 071s. We'll have to check that out. While we're here, let's take a look at the other things that I uh, I had on the board here. There's a couple shift registers. Um, here's a shift register, 595. Um, let's see here, I want to be able to drag this around. How do I drag it? I guess I move this thing. Um, here's the other shift register with uh, open collector drivers, ULM 2003s, um, good for motor drivers. Um, there is a interesting chip here. Uh, oh, this is a I squared C to parallel output, 16 bit parallel output. So that's what that chip is. And there's some chips that just load surface mount resistors into SIPs. Uh, 
the little power supply circuit. Might be able to use that, a 3, 317 circuit. That's kind of cute. And then my teeny 85. Yeah, so I think this would be a good board for the, uh, for the project. Uh, the wide lines here are just to uh, cut and uh, separate the boards, uh, put them on my bandsaw and separate them out. Um, oh, here's the 317 uh, power supply down there, so that's kind of cute. That's all through hole. Oh, no, there's one uh, one surface mount. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but there is one surface mount part on there. All right, we're going to uh, singulate these boards on the bandsaw. And we'll clean them up over here on the belt sander. So yes, I know you can uh, have the uh, PC board house route these and break them apart and things like that. They generally charge you more for that. Um, at least that was my experience. Um, they ask you, when you're pricing it asks, it asks you how many singulated boards there will be. Um, and because I don't have any, I forget what, they call, what the routing is called, it's like a V-notch that you put so you can break the boards apart or you can put uh, little breakout tabs every once in a while. Um, if you answer those questions that there'll be breakout boards, I believe they charge you more. Um, but if you just say, no, it's just one big board, then you get it for one board price. So that's what I do since I have these two tools and it's so easy for me to do, I just uh, put, a, put an ink line <laughs> on the PC boards that tells me where to cut them. <laughs> 